The following episode is brought to you by Skittles. Taste the motherfucking rainbow. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey everybody holy shit where's yeah. that coming from oh, you gotta bring the energy man dude you're you're the only one doing it right now i'm Look on a up. mean sugar rush with these skittles dude <laughs> we are sponsored by skittles officially that is a very serious sponsorship yeah they give us all but five cents yeah they <laughs> i actually traded this bag of skittles for like th- three dollars <laughs> as part of the uh, spar- uh partnership now welcome to the you're not down podcast you're not down with mike and luis mike and luis um he is i am michael halftime rubio we all know where this is going yeah so let's hit him my name is luis el cantante ay cabron yeah eso ay yeah. cabron why not el cantante castillo I, I do a little bit of singing yeah I do a little bit of mariachi singing we've heard a bit of it on this podcast so i wanted to give it a nice mention hey man you know i don't like karaoke <laughs> Karaoke is so dope. No, man. but you like singing, yeah. just not in the karaoke format. <laughs> yeah. You don't like other people's karaoke. I I just you you already know yeah, how yeah. I feel about it. If you're not gonna be good, then sit the fuck down <laughs> <laughs> and let the stars shine. <laughs> and let me shine. Speaking of stars, yep. This week we have a very special one. Do we leaving us a five star review on Apple Podcasts? What a beautiful segue. First of all, I'm not gonna let that go unnoticed because. I mean, you've been good at segways. Yeah. And I think that shouldn't be a surprise to everyone, but that one was particularly Thank good. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Did you plan that? No. It's all inspiration. Beautiful. It all hits me on my fingertips. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, giving us a five-star review. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Give it up for Matt Rosewood. Thank you, Matt Rosewood. Yeah. I think I thought his review was particularly funny. What did what, it say? He said... <laughs> what donkey gave this four stars? <laughs> Keep it up, fellas. What donkey did give us four stars, though? That was Big Raj. Big Raj, if you're listening. Also our biggest supporter. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. I think because he gave us a four-star review, that makes him the realest supporter. Yeah. Uh, everyone else, kind of a fake fool. No, we're trying to get more reviews. You're right, you're right. Speaking of getting more reviews. <laughs> Please. You see God that, dude? damn it. Just, I'm like a professional damn, at this. Speaking of more reviews, if you'd like to get your name shout out on this podcast, drop down to Apple Podcasts and leave us a review, five stars and up. Make sure you type the words in. That's the review part. The other part's the rating part. Thank you very much. Get your name shout out on the podcast just like Matt Rosewood. Mm-hmm. Also, I got some other review news. Man, if, if you hit me with one more clean ass segue. This is not as clean. This is not as clean. Uh... Don't get your hopes up. That's what you say. That's what yeah, you say. Yeah, I just like to tease. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't get anybody off. Anyways, uh, I was speaking to the meat the other day. Yeah. Shout out to the meat. Shout out to the meat. You know how we accredited the review that was named Shout Out to the Meat? We accredited the meat uh, to writing that review? That was the meat that wrote that. Who no. El- who else would write Shout Out to the Meat? She said, Oh, I just caught up to your episode. And one, I guess you're breaking up with me because I haven't left you a review. <laughs> and two, I wasn't Shout Out to the Meat. Wait, no. so who do we know who was? No. All right, so There's a mystery fan out there. How do we how do we get to the bottom of this? I've <laughs> seen enough episodes of Scooby Doo where I'm gonna pull like your fucking mask off and yeah. then you're the meat this whole time. It was the principal the entire time. <laughs> yeah. And they would have gotten away if they, if it wasn't for those meddling kids. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, pretty good. <laughs> Thank you, man. <laughs> Wait, no. Now Oinks. Zoinks like Scoop. <laughs> that kind what are of we doing? Like a little gremlin. What are we doing in the podcast business? We we should be in the voiceover business. The voice actors, huh? Those were both pretty good. Oh, yeah, thank you. Now, how do we how do we find out who this is? If you wrote a review under shout out to the meat, yeah, show yourself. <laughs> you can send us an email or a DM. Send us an email or a DM, and you and know where you can find those at. <laughs> holy shit, man! <laughs> I'm telling you. If you do one more <laughs> perfect, beautiful segue, you can find those at yep. our Instagram and our Twitter. That's your not down pod. Mm-hmm. Spell your right. Don't be a dumb dumb. You don't want to be a dumb dumb. All your friends will make fun of you. Mm-hmm. Or drop us an email at yndpod at gmail.com. 
I think we could get on with the episode now, my friend. Honestly, with so many good fucking segues like that, <laughs> yeah. I, I just wanted to let you drive. They're fun, aren't they? What am I doing here? I can leave if you want me to. <laughs> Speaking of fun. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I'll stop now, I promise. <laughs> no, please don't. I think it's it's the Skittles, man. It's a new sponsorship got me high <laughs> on sugar. <laughs> I never want it to end. Um, so I guess that means fun facts of the week, fun facts of the week, fun facts of the week. Get it's your fun, fun facts fact. here. It's, it's a fun, fun fact. fact of the week. Me or you? You go ahead. Come chewing. Ah, oh, damn it. I totally have one right now. Um, my fun fact of the week. Fun fact of the week. Uh, this one kind of sucks. I'm not going to lie. Okay. But you know, I'm dressed a little bit down right now. Yeah. And so I just wanted to say I've hit the beach more. This past week than I have probably in my whole life, honestly. I love that, man. I've never been a beach guy. And you know what? I would always say that I hate the beach. Yeah. You know why I said that? The flip-flops? I'm self-conscious. Yeah. I'm self-conscious. Yeah, yeah. That goes hand in hand. I mean, like, eh, I was always a skinny kid, but that was still, I don't know. That that shows you how how much uh, self a consciousness, I don't know. Yeah, that yeah. Word, self-consciousness. Yeah, yeah. That affects you. As a kid, I even didn't want to go to the beach just because I didn't feel comfortable. Yeah. So I would say that all the time. But dude, I, I've gone with your brother and your your two brothers. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've gone to Manny with Manny and Marcos a little bit. Your your cousin Lino's in town. We went. Yeah. I went with a couple other friends. And dude, I mean, I, I don't know if the camera can pick it up. I'm a little bit dark. I'm a little bit dark. I've been I've been pasty boy. It's a good look, though. It's Southern California. I guess so. Thank you. Yeah, Beach Boys. Beach. <laughs> I, I don't even know if they're from Southern California. Probably not. No, I think that's about right. Maybe. Yeah. That's... I mean, if they're not, they're faking the funk. <laughs> All I know is that we should be the Bleach Boys. Yeah. And we've been talking about that for a while now. We're going to do it soon. <laughs> we'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. Yeah, why rush it? <laughs> the best yeah, no. things come to those who wait. And also, speaking of bleach. Yeah. Freshly bleached. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Isn't official without the sound effects. No, it looks good, man. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate you, it. You did a... Uh, that's just what? The second batch? Same process? Yep. It looks great. We're good in there. And I'm jealous. <laughs> and it's extra straight. It's not... Yeah, yeah, You don't look like a fucking James Bond villain anymore. <laughs> yeah, no. I had, to, I had to put on for the team. You know what I mean? Um, Speaking of the beach, though, I also went to the beach for the first time in a long time. Very long time. Mm-hmm. Not because I'm self-conscious. Because I don't like to leave my house too much. But yeah, I went to the beach this weekend. Yeah. Had a grand old time splashing around Honestly, in the waves. It's great. Yeah. A lot of fun. It's like I got so caught up in the um, in just the makeshift story that I hate the beach. Yeah. That I forgot how nice it actually is. <laughs> how much you love it. Yeah. I mean, because I hate. Look, let me tell you this. Um, As a kid, like I said, it was a self-conscious. But I, this has to be a Mexican thing, right? Mm-hmm. Have you. Don't lie to me. Have you ever gone into the pool or into the ocean with a wife beater on? No. That's a lie. I've never been a wife beater guy. If you were born Latin American, whether you're from Mexico, whether you're from Honduras, that's all the Latin American countries that I know. <laughs> no, wherever you're from, yeah. that at one point you've gone into the pool with a wife beater on. I just don't wear wife beaters. Not even as a kid? No. And I try to wear minimal amount of clothing as possible. As referenced in our last episode, I'm a one shirt, one sweatshirt, yeah. one whatever. I don't layer up. But you've been like that your whole life. Yeah. As a kid, you never I just jump straight in that water. And the thing is, too, it doesn't make sense though, because it's no, like, of course it's not soggy. Of, of course not. It's then you you're literally ten pounds heavier because your clothes are just wet now. Yeah. If if you take it to the next level, you're wearing long white socks. Are you? Yeah. How about jeans? Jean shorts. Oh, I've been in the beach in jean shorts. For oh, sure. yeah. You for sure got it. <laughs> I don't know why you were so confident that I have been, but. Yeah, no, I'm just saying like that. That fits the. If you were wearing all three of those things, long white socks, <laughs> some jean shorts and a wife beater. Mm-hmm. I mean, you're perfect. You're perfect <laughs> Latin American or whatever you said. Basically, Honduran. <laughs> basically. basically. <laughs> yeah. Man, it's always it's always um like if you're going to go into the beach with a wife beater, it's got to be white. Yeah. If yeah, you're wearing sure. any other color. It's not right. If you're wearing white, you see the nip through the shirt. Exactly. You see every little crevice. You see every little hair yeah. on like your prepubescent suctions body. Suctions up right under your little boobies. Exactly. It's yeah. the only way to do it. Yeah. But that was always me. And I, yeah, maybe that had something to do with me not liking it. But now, man, whew, 
No, see me, I just embrace the, I'm a big man. I'm a burly man. I just embrace that. You're not a big man. You're a burly man, sure, but. <laughs> I'll rip my shirt off at a moment's <laughs> notice and I'm jumping in that water. Why do you got to rip it off? I don't need extra material because it's it's too hard to take off comfortably. <laughs> We've talked about that in the past. Yeah. I take the shirt off in the sexy way. Yeah. The sexy and practical way. Mine just gets ripped right <laughs> off my body. <laughs> you fucking Hulk Hogan that. Yeah. <laughs> my but, fun facts for the week. Fun fact of the week. Hey, um, not much of a reader. Not much of a reader. Hmm. I haven't read many books in my life. If you, if you could tell from my vocabulary, <laughs> not much of a reader. I do listen to audio books, though. I appreciate a good audio book. Do you remember the last physical book that you read? No. Did you ever... You went to school, Yeah, I presume. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, uh, actually, I skipped college to go to the beach. <laughs> yeah, all two years. All two years? Yeah. I, Wait, just, like, I would just ditch, go to the beach. You were enrolled for two years, but never went? I mean, I went to some classes. And sometimes I just skipped them to go to the beach. <laughs> yeah, I spent two years at the beach. Now, did you do you remember like middle school or elementary school when you had the Scholastic Book Fair? It would come, I don't, what was it, like once a month? Loved once it. Once a year? Loved it. Did you get books? Yeah, hell yeah. Okay, see, because... Because I'm, I'm almost on the same boat where I was never a reader. I never really had the bug for it. Um, I don't think I have ADD, but I would have to read a sentence like w- nine times yeah, yeah, for it to process, you know, mm-hmm. but the Scholastic Book Fair always had some fun little knickknacks. I don't know if you remember they they had like a little, um, security thing for your bedroom. It's like, no sisters allowed. You got to hit the code here to come like in. an alarm or something. Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. I don't think it really worked. It was just a box. <laughs> to keep your sisters out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But um, I was always I was always that guy. Um, Garfield. If I'm if I wasn't getting Garfield books, oh it yeah, was the getting Garfield the comics. Little, yeah, yeah, it was getting the little knickknacks. Those they were like called big books, Garfield big books or something like that. Yeah, yeah. No, I enjoyed a good uh, Scholastic book fair. Also, those were a lot of fun. <laughs> See, there was a lot of I've bought a lot of picture books there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a visual man myself. I shit you not. Um, whatever happened to Got Milk? The commercials? Yeah. Uh, dude, almond milk. Uh, Peter stepped in. Peter stepped in. Fuck you, almonds. <laughs> Wait, no, actually, I haven't. Those aren't a thing anymore, huh? I don't. I don't think so. Well, they're mm. like they were in magazines and stuff. What company was that? Even the dairy industry. Just the general yeah. dairy industry. B- big dairy. <laughs> big dairy. Not just because. Um, at the Scholastic Book Fair, I remember because I've talked about it in the past. I love wrestling. I've loved it since I was a kid. Yeah. I I went to the Scholastic Book Fair and I found the book. Um, and I was just going through it and it must've been like somewhat of a magazine and it was Stone Cold Steve Austin, um, with the got milk ad and he had the milk mustache, whatever yeah. he was coming to. Oh yeah. I was like, I need to get this just for that. Not a single word on that page. <laughs> it was just cool. Cause that was my hero. That's but pretty cool. Cool. Sure. But yeah. did I learn anything from it? You learned that Steve, Stone Cold Steve Austin drinks milk and so should you. Exactly. Now you got healthy bones. <laughs> Is that even true? That's calcium. There's I don't, calcium and vitamin. We're both milk something. boys. And I think we have talked about that in the past too, because we drank a full um, 40, yeah, ounce 40 of ounces milk. of milk. Yeah, yeah. Now, um, I don't forget if I mentioned that time, but my nickname was literally the milkman as a kid. Hey, how, how did that arrive? I mean, do you see these bones? <laughs> yeah, strong as fuck. <laughs> now I would drink milk all the time. And my, my babysitter just called me El Lechero. Oh, <laughs> Sounds sexy. <laughs> hey, come on. <laughs> we don't talk about my girl Tere like that. No, not she doesn't sound sexy. I'm saying the name sounds sexy. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, Please Tere. Don't I don't, no offense. <laughs> we, know, we know we know is listening right yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> no offense to Tere there. <laughs> um speaking of your physical appearance. God damn it. Again with the segues. I heard you gave yourself, I mean, I've saw that you gave yourself a terrible haircut. Hmm. And so we're co- calling me out. A couple of things came to mind. Uh-huh. One, you saw from your cousin, the Jet. Shout out to the Jet. I want to make sure that his name is thrown into this. Shout you out to saw, my second cousin, the Jet. You saw what happens when someone tries to give themselves a haircut and it turns out terribly. Yet you decided to give it a go. Look, how did I, it turn out? I cut my hair once, like soon after his fuck up. Yeah. And it turned out great. Oh, okay. <laughs> But I think it's because my hair was a little bit shorter. It was a little bit easier to manage, yeah. you know? And um, so now, because look, we I mentioned I'm, I want to get my hair bleached. Yeah. 
but I don't want to cut my hair until it's ready to be bleached, you know? Mm. So it's been growing out. It's been nasty. And you could tell now, like, you know, the sides are short. Yeah, yeah. Because, excuse that throat fart. Yeah, I heard it. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was one of the beach days that I was going going to go to uh, for my friend Yadin's birthday. And so we go to the beach. Shout out to Yadin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, shout out to Yadin. Happy birthday. Um, And so we go to the beach. And I've been wearing, that's why I've been wearing bandanas on the past few episodes. Because mm-hmm. I hate... I hated how the hair looked coming out of the hat. Yeah, but out of the bandana was fine. Honestly, yeah, because you yeah tie it tight enough <laughs> and it game over. Nice. Yeah, so I thought, you know what? No, there's gonna be my best. Sorry, you're my best friend. Sure, <laughs> sure. That's it's some we're of my best friends. Dude. It's, some, it's fine. <laughs> we're business partners. Yeah. Now it's some of my best friends that were all going to the beach, and I was like, I need to look a little bit good today, mm-hmm. you know. So I was like, I've cut my hair before. Let me do it. So here I'm I'm going. I got the the clippers, the body hair clippers. Yeah. And they're hit in the head. And dude, so now I don't think you can tell that much. But I'm taking this off real quick. The fucking attachment fell off. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're a little light in one area. I don't think you can. Maybe maybe you can't tell, maybe you can. Who knows? We'll see. We'll see one big out. Pro- probably edits, not. <laughs> edits this probably side, not, so. but but it looks a little light. Far better than when I saw it fresh. <laughs> Dude, and I just saw a bald spot in the side of your cranium. It just cranium. fell off. It fell off and does, <laughs> and I was like, no. It was, yeah. it was the most like defeated. Like, <laughs> I told Manny that, and he said, and he wonders why Lino takes all his girls. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. See, I didn't know that until right now. I've seen Manny since my haircut. Yeah, yeah. And this is how I find he was out saving it for the pot. <laughs> <laughs> Disrespect, man. Yeah, no, that it, I took a chunk out of my hair and then the back. I mean, in my mind, dude, my hat, my hat's off. I mean, it's staying on so it doesn't show the embarrassment, but my hat's off to barbers because that's an art. Yeah. I thought, yeah, I just need to cut the sides all the way to the back. Yeah, you'll be good. Look like a fucking palm tree, man. <laughs> Once it got to the back, I just cut up to where I thought so. Where you thought it was fine? And just, poof, I'm telling you, you saw it. <laughs> So yeah, it's it's been bad. I've been wearing a hat ever since. I'm nice. I'm glad to see the hat on you today. Though. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, that's good. I it's, like the look. I missed it. It's it's good to hide <laughs> hide the truth. I missed the I missed the hat look. <laughs> so I was thinking the other day, kebabs suck. <laughs> Where the fuck? <laughs> look, I know I've been uh, applauding your segues, but now I got to put the foot no, down. No, because that, that was, was just a, it has to be abrupt because that's what kebabs are. They're, they they suck. Suck, dude. You never had a good kebab in your life. I'll tell you why I disagree. They suck. Go on. One. So well, let's go with chicken kebab, right? Sure. You got all these vegetables that nobody wants on there. Bell peppers? Are you kidding me? Some burnt ass onions. The, I like me all of those things so far. <laughs> the chicken is always dry. You've never had a juicy chicken kebab in your entire life. And then to top it off. They give it to you on the fucking stick. So you try to eat it off the stick. You're poking yourself in the cheek. <laughs> you're trying to slide the meat off. You end up just taking all the ingredients yeah, yeah. off anyways and eating them off your plate like a regular person. <laughs> and all those ingredients would have been better cooked had they been cooked separately on, on the grill. Bell peppers and onions don't cook in the same time <laughs> as chicken. Kebabs suck. Part of me, part of me wants to just combat you entirely. <laughs> But you're fucking right. You're so... I mean, because look, I love me a good kebab. Yeah. But the amount of times that I've stabbed a hole through my cheek... Yeah. It's so stupid. Because then... All right. First first piece of chicken, you're in there. Boom. It's at yeah, the tip. Yeah, yeah. It's at the tip. You got the bell pepper. Okay. We're doing great. At some point, when you get to the next chicken, now you're just like... Right. <laughs> Not a good look. <laughs> Not a good look. No. <laughs> so now you have to bite it. You got to grip it with your teeth and slide it to the side. Exactly. What is that bullshit? Just, just serve it to me separate. Just serve. I put it in a bowl. I'll eat it all. <laughs> yeah. They do look fun, though. That's the only re- do reason. Do you think that's the one reason that that's a thing? Yeah, because they look tasty. They look mm-hmm. good. They look like you're having a good time. They if, look like a prepared dish, you know? If you're at a house grilling kebabs... You're fucking. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're fucking. You're that for sure night. doing it right. You probably already got kids because that's like a total. Dad <laughs> yeah, yeah, look, exactly. You know? but, but you're still fucking. You're still fucking. Yeah. No one's gonna really enjoy them, but they're gonna enjoy watching you do them. <laughs> you know, you know who's not fucking the guy with the hole in his cheek because he, <laughs> he tried to eat them. You know what I mean? 
Now he's trying to fuck with a stream of blood just coming down his mouth. Yeah. Yeah. I've fuck smelling I, like garlic and bell peppers, man. See, I think I think our relationship has always been trying uh trying to argue a little bit. Yeah. I think this might be the one time that I am gonna agree with you. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> I think the whole world Don't get used to it. I think the whole world knows that and, and like people are afraid to admit it. Because they because they look fun. They look sure, they look sure. good, you know. Mm. They suck. Are you a cook? Yeah, I do. I I mess around in the kitchen, you know. I have a <laughs> fucking Fucked around and got a triple double. You know what I mean? <laughs> What's your? Do you have a favorite? Not even a favorite, but like a dish that people have told you this is the best thing I've ever had. Um. Oh, I cook prime rib. Okay. But I do that every year for like Christmas or Thanksgiving or not Thanksgiving. Um. Uh. Easter. What's the other one? Yeah, Easter. Uh. So I cook the prime rib, and that's like a big, you know, that's a focal point meal. Okay. You know, everyone sits down and has that kind yeah. of thing. So that's one of my favorite things to cook. Also, super easy to actually cook. Mm-hmm. Um. I, but people give you way more credit because they think it's hard work because it's a big ass roast. Sure. Um, but I also fuck around and, and cook the turkey on Thanksgiving. You been, cook the turkey? Too? Yeah, I've been doing it uh, for a few years now. Okay, well, now here's another hot take. Yeah. Turkey? Bullshit. <laughs> I, you know what? I'll disagree with you a little bit. No, 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 no. There's okay, no give argument. me your points. Give me your points then. It's okay. Convince me. Thanksgiving dinner. Yeah. You show up. You're wearing your funny little sweater. It's a little furry sweater. And you're showing up to whoever's house it is. Maybe it's your own. Maybe it's a family member's. Everyone's ready to eat. And everyone's looking forward to one particular dish. Mm -hmm. And it could be your mom's macaroni. It could be your aunt's um, yams. It could be any string bean casserole. Whatever it is. Is anyone craving the turkey? Nobody really. Nobody's craving the turkey. No one. I'll, I'll tell you what. Turkey's notorious for being dry. Yep. I'll give you that. Sure. Um, chicken's far like better or like small. Yeah, just smaller bird. Yeah. The problem with turkeys too is they're so big and you want to cook them as like that visual turkey that we expect uh-huh. on Thanksgiving. But the meat cooks at different temperatures. If you cook the thighs to cook, the breast is going to be dry as fuck. Uh-huh. So I have a way to combat that. I mean, I'm not a chef. You know, I found a recipe online. You combat that completely. You create an aluminum foil breastplate if, over the turkey. Mm-hmm. So it it keeps the breast from cooking as fast as the thighs. And then you get yourself a juicy ass turkey. It's all in the brine anyways. If you if you have to find cheat codes <laughs> or fucking workarounds. <laughs> fucking helmet. <laughs> just to make a turkey moist. Yeah. And I say that word because I know people don't hate it. Yeah, a lot of people hate people, that word. People yeah. hate that word. Comment down below. <laughs> If you got to do all these things just to make something edible, mm-hmm. get it off the menu. Yeah, you're right. You're right. My, I, but I, people expect it though. Expect it, sure. Yeah. But what what's going to be the one thing that's left over from a Thanksgiving dinner? Turkey. Turkey. <laughs> that macaroni's gone that same yeah, night. Yeah, for sure. So is the mashed potatoes. Yeah. That turkey, it's in your fridge, and everyone's looking at it the rest of the week. Like, oh, no, the best <laughs> way to eat it is the next day you make turkey tacos out of them. Turkey tacos. Yeah. You had like. Tacos dorados. That's the most Spanish I've ever heard you speak, by the way. <laughs> That's it. There's two words. Um, yeah, you just do it, but you throw turkey in there, then you throw some gravy and some And fucking, you're doing that because you stuffing. have to. Because no one wants no, no, to waste I agree it. with you. I agree with you. Yeah, it does. It, it helps. <laughs> so are you agreeing with That's what you do me. with all the leftover turkey. Yeah, I agree with you. Yes. <laughs> we got two agreements here. <laughs> Look at that, man. That we never happens. three more. <laughs> that never happens. Um, no, nah, man. It's like... My my friend, my friend Eric's in town right now. Um, Eric from New York. I forget if I brought him up before. Yeah, you posted him on our Instagram. Yeah, that's right. He yeah. he came for a studio visit. Look, man, I don't even know if he listens to this podcast. Probably not. But let me tell you, this guy, dreamiest eyes ever. Mm-hmm. Also, he likes traveling. Yeah. He's been to Philippines. He's been to, uh, I think that's it. <laughs> yep. He likes to travel. I'm just trying to like illustrate the girl that or the guy that every girl likes. Mm-hmm. That's him. That's him. And what does he do best? He cooks. Yeah. Hell yeah. Do you know the disrespect? Not even it. He has. It's not his fault. He's good at what he does. Okay. He's a lovable guy. Where are you going with this? Um. Because I mean that that's the reason why I asked you if you cook if you oh, have okay. a dish. I don't have one. You know, oh, I, you gotta get in the kitchen, dude. I want to. I want to mess. What'd you say? I want to fuck around in the kitchen. Fuck around. I get a triple, get a triple double. double. Yeah. 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 
dude, I can make your quesamadillers. Yeah. I can make your eggs. I can make. That, that all counts. That all counts. It's time spent in the kitchen. Hopefully. Yeah, you learn. You learn as you go. Yeah, but it's like, I don't have a dish because I don't cook often. Uh-huh. Um, and so this guy, so like whenever this whole friend group hangs out, mm-hmm. uh, sometimes it turns into a potluck. Mm-hmm. He's like, okay, I'm going to make a chicken curry with a uh, asparagus side and yada, yada. Yeah. With a little maple bacon drizzle. I'm, oh, like, shit. I'm like, what the hell? Oh, that sounds no, he's great. He's fancy, dude. And so whoever's hosting this, they're the ones that say like, okay, you do that. I'm going to make the, um, the like, um, the mashed pasta, mas- pasta salad. Yeah. yeah. Then. This person's gonna make the mashed potatoes. Someone's bringing a whole ass ham. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. making it. Oh yeah. They don't even ask me what I oh, I'm gonna dude. make. You're in charge of drinks and napkins. Pretty much, <laughs> but even worse than that, they say, and they they try to make me feel a little bit special. Mm-hmm. But they say, Luis, can you make your Dorito cuisine? Let me tell you what this yeah, Dorito. Yeah, I'm interested. Let me tell you I'm what this interested. Dorito cuisine is. You get a party size bag of Doritos from uh-huh. Costco. Uh huh. You sprinkle that on a plate. You put tapatio on it, yeah, and you squeeze a lemon over it. Oh, baby, it is bomb. That's it. It is bomb. Everyone loves it, but for you guys to send me a group chat <laughs> and say, "All right, he's on mashed potato duty. He's right. on the cur- chicken curry." Well, duty. everyone's volunteering these things. I could make this. I could make this. But you're a little different. I'm a little different. You're where little special. I like. I want to volunteer. Like, yeah. I could do this. They're like, just bring the Doritos. Yeah, you like, get told for, what to for bring. Sure. <laughs> that happened the other day. Oh yeah. I mean, this happens every time. That happened again very recently. Oh, well, the people love it. I'll give the people what they want here. But like, everyone knows the reason why. You got to get that. a dish. You got to get a dish going. <sighs> One day. <laughs> it's a little bit offensive, though. Maybe for bit. your next date or something. Next date. Yeah, cook them. Oh shit. Hey, take it easy with you. Yeah. Cook them a nice meal. Not, or or take them to the movies. What does that do? Because okay. AMC. Oh, he's on to something. <laughs> is coming out with 15 cent tickets to commemorate 100 years. Okay, time out. I thought you were making a random point. This is a rehearsed. Not even rehearsed. That's just a beautiful segue again. <laughs> yeah. Copy that. Yeah. <laughs> Can you repeat that though? AMC is selling tickets at 15 cents to commemorate their 100 years. I did so they're that. doing they're doing uh fifth you know whatever the prices were in 2019 20. Gotcha. Um, that shouldn't happen, right? No, I don't think so. It's Coronas. I, that's the reason why I think they're doing it, because mm. you know they're notorious for eight like fifteen dollar popcorn, yeah, and seven fifty soda or whatever. But nobody's going to the movies mm. anymore, so the only way they can get people out of their Corona house and away from the cold grip of <laughs> Netflix, yeah. Uh, is uh sell tickets at 15 cents wasn't amc like on the verge of filing for bankruptcy yeah i remember they were asking people for help i i forget I, man I think but they, i think they did something like it's that. it's been nothing but bad news for amc and i know i heard something where like universal because universal had trolls too that came out yep or it was supposed to come out in theaters and then obviously everything happened so they released it exclusively on video on demand yeah yeah so amc got mad and they're like, well, no, you're making us lose money. Mm-hmm. So you know what? We're never playing a Universal movie again. Oh yeah, good. Stupid. There's no more AMC. So of course you're not. <laughs> you're not playing shit again. <laughs> yeah. No, it's like they're, they're fucking whoever's in charge, man. Is um, there was a Disney movie or something Didn't that come out? Uh, a Disney movie came not out. Not Frozen Two. No, that was in theaters. There was another one that came out exclusively on stream streaming after Corona hit. I'm not sure. I forgot what it was. But not AMC. I used to work for AMC. Yeah. I forget if we've brought that we, up. We brought it up. The we Mitchell up. The Mitchell up. <laughs> Mitchell. Okay. Uh, I was hoping there was another story that maybe you could reference. But... <laughs> I thought that was a nightmare. That was, what's that? <laughs> no, that was very real. No, nah, man. It's like, because look, um, I, I feel like I feel like there's a reason we're behind the, the country that's still behind on everything. Yeah. Because there's shit like this. Businesses are freaking out and they're trying to be like, oh, 15 times, 15 times, come back, come back. <laughs> and then it just keeps going. It's a non. I actually don't know if it's like actually happening or like if this is, you know, once everything kind of goes back to normal in, one, in a sense. One question. Yeah. Are we going? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> We're going to do a live podcast. They, they make all their money off the popcorn anyways. <laughs> Wait, is that how movie theaters work? Like the first couple of weeks, like the studio gets all the money and they only make concessions. I would love. I think I heard a podcast about it. I would love to tell you that you're right or you're wrong. 
but a much more informative podcast than this one that you're listening <laughs> yeah. to with half facts. I was just the guy that mispronounced Mitch a <laughs> lot. I had I had zero power in that in that place. I think I heard that. I don't know. It makes sense that like obviously you're no. I guess you pay the studio to show the movie. Okay, now that kind of makes sense. Yeah, so it was something you're, like you're that. You're trying to pay back the debt by ticket sales plus concessions. Oh, okay. Until you make a uh, positive. I don't know. I'm talking out of my butt. Yeah. Who knows? Sounds great. <laughs> Sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> we can move on from that, though. Well, question is, does he have another beautiful segue? <laughs> well, speaking of... <laughs> <laughs> now you're forcing it. Now you're forcing speaking it. Speaking of this podcast being stopped to a screeching halt... <laughs> I was stopped at a long ass red light yesterday. Mm-hmm. I mean, not yesterday. This is a couple of days ago. Sure, but uh, that was bullshit, dude. I, I this is, maybe it's just me, but this frustrates the hell out of me. When I'm the only car stopped at a red light, mm-hmm. and there's not even other cars cross traffic or anything, it's just like they're telling me you have to wait for some bullshit ass reason. Yeah, like you see me stopped here. Turn your light green. <laughs> or or should I be, I should be allowed to go yeah if the coast is clear there's not another car in sight let me just go okay yeah it was like a, through the red just through the red I see where you're coming from I see where you're coming from you said you got pulled over though no oh, okay no I did not mm. I know I stayed there like a law-abiding citizen <laughs> but I, I recognize how much bullshit it was see because like I'm not a rule breaker yeah me either I can't do that um but like, no, 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 no. I'm going to disagree with you. I'm going to disagree with you. But you're fine with long ass red lights? If that's the law, <laughs> and then you just got to wait. No, I, don't, I mean, I saying. did that. All, I stopped also. I did not go. But I had a real problem with being <laughs> the only car in an intersection at a red light when with no other cars around. Do you ever do the like little hiccup brakes? <laughs> you got to get the like sensor. You oh, know? is that how you do? You yeah. just kind of hump the sensor. Like warm it up a little yeah. bit. Like, I'm here, baby. You give it a I'm, little. You, you know you feel me right here. A little one and a yeah. two. And, oh. and uh, whenever uh, you're ready, uh, I'm ready to go. Fucking light turns green. You speed off and you just blast <laughs> out of like a rocket. <laughs> oh shit! I'm never getting in a car with you again. <laughs> Speaking of cars, yeah, I'm gonna tell you a story. Oh, I'm, I love it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Not uh, car related. <laughs> no, it I'm is, kidding. It is car related. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a good segue. Um, I brought it up a little bit earlier. Uh, <laughs> you're giving me that look i'm excited you're telling a story i'm excited to hear what it's about <laughs> no nah, man um we've talked about our hate for carl's jr before. yeah yeah we have they're the worst Fucking because bullshit. all right you go you order your food you get to the pay window and you pay and they say okay pull over to the side and we'll bring it out to you yeah horseshit bullshit because what's that for that's because they have a little timer they have a little sensor that um if they don't give you your food by a certain time, if, if the sensor doesn't feel your car move away with your food, they're going to get in trouble. Yeah. So what's their loophole? You ask someone to wait on the side. Right. Fuck that. No, no. That's it's, not how it works. Why is it our fault that they're lagging it, you know? Yeah. So that's already bullshit. I want to I email management and tell them, like, I'd rather, like, lessen your restrictions on the timer. Have, wait, have we, have we asked... Is this only this location that we go to? We go to the same Carl's Jr. Is it every Carl's Jr.? I've had to do that at other Carl's Jr. Okay. I don't know what's going on there, man. But um, let me tell you a little something that happened to me the other night. What happened? It pissed me off. Ooh. Um, even worse. Even worse than being told that you got to wait on the side for uh-huh. your food. I go. Um, and it's late at night. It's a little bit late at night. And it was like I was starving. And then, like, because whenever whenever I go to a fast food place, I don't have a regular order. I look at the promotions. I'll do the new one, you know? Right, right. Whatever's yeah, new. Yeah. Give, me the, give yeah. me the sticker that's on the window. Exactly. That's yeah. half of my orders. Exactly, yeah. And so I order, I order um, like, a couple of burgers. You know I'm a fat boy. Mm-hmm. I order a couple of burgers plus um, some, like, a, a couple of sides. Yeah. So I ordered it, whatever, and it's kind of a long line. And so now I get to the pay window. And I have my wallet out and they say, Hey, what did you order? And I was like, <laughs> I was like, I'm sorry. They're like, what, what was your order? And I was like, uh, I honestly don't remember. It was the two yeah, burgers. It was the fucking picture there. Yeah. They're like, well, we can't charge you until you tell us what you ordered. What is this? Look at a bullshit interrogation. I was like, huh? 
And like, you know me, like you, it's cause you probably ordered so much food that they thought it was for a family. And then you pulled up and it's one guy like this can't be yeah. for him. Now it was two burgers. It was two burgers. Um, and jalapeno poppers. That was it. Yeah. I remember that now perfectly. Right. I don't remember it when I was ordering, but, um, I, I told him, I was like, I'm not entirely sure, but you know, it was barbecue something. Right. And yeah, it was nothing but like, we can't give you your order until you tell us what it is. And you know me, man. Wait, I, I'm failing to understand. They, they, t- what, why are they testing you on what your order is? <laughs> Beats the shit out of me, man. <laughs> I've never had that happen, dude. It, it was like, I think that's why I was so taken aback. Cause I was just so confused. Yeah. I was like, you guys are actually asking me what the order yeah. was? Yeah. So. I told you like 20 feet ago. Okay. Well, so look, you've told your KFC story before. Yeah. Where you got into a verbal. Fucking, I got the super mom chicken special. <laughs> you got the Fucking, super mom chicken special. Fight. Anyone tells me yeah. different. And I felt so uncomfortable just hearing that story because I was like, that's not me, man. Yeah. I'm not a confrontational guy. And just even with the traffic laws, I follow the rules, whatever. You tell me I can't do something, I'm not going to do it. But that was already working me up. And so I might have been a little bit aggressive. Okay. I say, I'm sorry, but what was the point of me ordering back there? (laughs) Good, man. If you're going to make me order again up here, what was the point of that? Yeah. Why don't I just come directly to you guys and order? (laughs) Well, did they explain why they needed you to repeat it? No. Uh, like, I think it was just like. They forgot. We, they fucked up. Yeah, yeah. They didn't take the order. And so, look, dude, I was just, I was already so fucking worked up because mm-hmm. she, it was a little bit of attitude from her, too. Oh, you know? shit. And your timer's going. Yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> exactly. damn, dude. They're going to get chewed out <laughs> double time for that one. Yeah, so she was giving me a little bit of attitude. And then I returned that attitude. I said, what's the point of the first window? Yeah. And so now I'm just upset. And they're like, just tell us what you are. I was like, I don't remember. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And so I'm already worked up. And I was like, you know what? Fuck this. I'm about to leave. And then the guy behind me has the odd. This is late at night, by the way. This right. is like two in the morning. Okay. The guy behind me gets out of his car. Straight up gets out of his car. Because I hear like a commotion. I hear, hey. And I was like, what the hell? This guy gets out of his car. He was like, take your food and get the fuck out of here holy and i see that dude, enter player three <laughs> i saw that man dude and like i said i'm gonna keep repeating it because i'm not a confrontational guy i'm not but that just worked me up so much more than i already was yeah i didn't get out of my car but i leaned out <laughs> i leaned out the window like in the most obnoxious way yeah, yeah yeah just to like get a look at this guy and i said are you serious right now get the fuck back in your car and i've never it was a little bit like you were thugging. I was like, I can't believe I ever said that. Yeah, yeah. I hope he doesn't come over to beat yeah, the yeah. shit out of me. He gets back in his car, and then so that's over. So I'm back. I'm like, so you guys aren't going to give me my food? She says, No. I said, All right, bye. I leave. Okay. Good. One would think the story ends there. Yeah. Now the guy. Oh, that guy just got in my head. Oh shit! Did you get up? Did you wait for him? <laughs> no, hit no. him with the crowbar? No, I'm a crowbar. I'm a damn pussy, dude. <laughs> I, I waited till he left. Yo, okay, good. But great. I made a U-turn. I went back into the drive-thru. <laughs> I went back into the drive-thru. You got a second look at what you ordered? <laughs> I, I, I didn't look at it. I was like, It was okay. that spicy Western jalapeno. Yes! You knew it. <laughs> I knew it, dude. Why weren't you with me? I, I should have been you there. You could have backed you, me you up. You could have FaceTimed me right there, dude. I would have known you ordered. <laughs> no, that was one of them. It was that. No, that's a special right now. It was that and another. I, I still don't remember what the other one was. Yeah. Um, but so I get to the order window. They're like, Welcome to Carl Jr. How can I help you? I'm like, I'll meet you guys at the window. <laughs> oh shit, there's not over. It's not over because there's a lot of rounds to this. Oh, bout. I was just so upset, man. So there's cars in front of me again. So now I'm waiting and I'm just like, Oh, oh, oh you know, yeah, you're gonna get yours exactly. <laughs> but I'm still a pussy. Like, I'm gonna be like, right. How much do I owe you? Yeah. This is what I ordered. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, I get to the window and then Did they, their faces fucking drop. Yeah, when they, they saw know you? it's me. Yeah, they know it's me. And I try to be a little bit calmer, mm-hmm. but it's still still a little bit aggressive. It's a it's a principle at this point. Yeah, I said I just want you guys to know, you know that was bullshit the way you guys handled that. And they're like, well, you're not telling us what you want. I was like, I told you guys at the first window, it was the same argument. <laughs> and so they're like, okay, so what do you want? I was like, I'll tell you guys right now because now I got a good look at yeah, the yeah, menu. for sure. I'll get the spicy western. I'll get this. I'll get the jalapeno poppers. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's this much. And I said. I'm not paying. Oh, good. good, <laughs> I good, said good, good. Straight up. I said, no, I feel like the way you guys mm-hmm. dealt with that, I should at the very least get a yeah. discount. And I'm going to say it one more time. I'm not a confrontation with them. Right. 
And then they say, we're not going to give you anything for free. And I was like, okay. <laughs> How much? <laughs> then I just folded. Then I just folded because I was like, I'm getting my food right, regardless. Right. Now, right. like. You gave them a verbal lashing. Yeah, you yeah. fucked up their timer big time. <laughs> you told one random Good. kid to fuck Good. off. <laughs> yeah, you got wins under your belt at this point. Mm. Let's pay for your damn food and let's get going. Point is, I'm on fire. Yeah. If you if you even look at me the wrong way right Shit, now, I'm by the this way. way. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. Honestly, I think that was, um, that was definitely the most. I've, I've been in arguments before. I've been in like verbal kind of um, confrontations. I think that was one of the most heated ones yeah. that got the closest. Um, and I think that's it. I, I think that's it for my lifetime. You know, <laughs> like no, it's now. in your blood now. I got a little taste. Yeah, I got yeah, a little yeah for taste sure. Now. It's like cannibalism, which we've referenced before in this podcast. Also, I dare Big Raj to give us another four star review. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him I'll to get the it. fuck back in his car. <laughs> Shout out to Big Raj. Shout out to Big Raj. Thanks for listening, man. We hope to one one day earn the next um, star. So he mess- he messages me when we make mistakes on this podcast. We or, make mistakes or on we, this podcast? Not when we make mistakes, but when we have a lack of information. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. He's a fact checker. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, So he messaged me the cum trees. They're called like jacarandas or something like that. I, I think I texted you that one. The cum trees. The cum trees. I heard the countries. No, 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 no. <laughs> the cum trees. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. How can they're, I forget? They're called jacarandas. He messaged me that. Yeah. Also, he messaged me, fuck, oh, that the patch of grass that the people were working out on, the dog shit, where the dogs piss. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The people work out on there. Uh-huh. Um, I think it's called the Parkway. Mm. So I, I, I told him I'd mention those two and to keep informing us. Why is he not on the podcast? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, actually, we should have him on. He's He'll be the one that we just start talking our bullshit like normal. Yeah. Like, actually. Yeah. And then, then we yell at him. No, he's a container of information. Does he? Is he yeah. a smart guy? Yeah, very smart. Shout out to Big Raj. Shout out to Big Raj. We're just a bunch of dumb dogs over here. <laughs> Shout out to Dumb Dog. <laughs> Shout out he to does dumb get dog. a lot. Of, he does get a lot of mentions. Um, the other day I was watching. Uh, you know, we mentioned this before that we I watch uh, like competitive reality TV shows or whatever. Yeah, yeah. and I think it's because I'm a competitor. Even if it's some bullshit topic that I don't really understand and have no business speaking on. Okay. I was watching the other day a show called Glow Up. It's a Netflix show. That's not wrestling, is it? No, it's, no, that's glow. That's glow. It's a uh, it's makeup artist competitions. Okay, All right. So I pop it off for the meat because she she likes that kind of stuff, and then it starts like hooking me a little bit, and then it comes to like time to review, and the I don't know why it turned instant expert, and I'm like, nah, she fucked up the eyebrows. <laughs> like, there's no symmetry in that. Your foundation is despicable. I'll be like, look at look at the color palette. Like it's it's all clashing with itself or whatever. Instantly within like a 20 minute episode, I became like a full on makeup artist expert <laughs> judger. Uh-huh. Yeah, and I was just, just getting fiery and passionate <laughs> about the, some TV show. I have no business honestly even you, watching. You kind of look like a, a makeup artist. Yeah, that's right what I'm now. down. <laughs> <laughs> well, I love this so much that now that's my new thing. <laughs> it's becoming your thing. Dude, I my hats off to girls for the makeup, man. Yeah. Have you ever I mean, I feel like you you should. You know what it takes to go into uh the meets makeup routine. Oh yeah, yeah. How long does that take? Uh depends on where we're going. Upwards of three hours sometimes. Oh unbelievable. If you can't any hair, if you can't any hair and outfit dressing and everything. <sighs> But she likes it though. No, she, no, she puts on her little tunes right there, and she's just vibing out, and she's doing her thing. She doesn't look like she's in a rush. No, I feel like I feel like whatever girl takes that much time into it, it's because they enjoy it and they like the outcome. You know? Yeah, yeah. The girls who don't wear makeup that much, then they don't like it. It's not their thing. Yeah, yeah. I'm three hours. Yeah, no, she's not doing that on a daily basis. It's like if we're going to uh, like whatever, we're in Vegas, we're going to a fancy dinner yeah, yeah. or something like that. She's gonna get all dressed up. Regular day, it's a quick. Yeah, who, who knows. <laughs> Yeah. And you're good. Three hours. Goddamn, dude. I mean, it could be that. Yeah. I think it usually is. Maybe two hours. Regardless. Yeah. yeah. Now she's vibing, though. It's her, like, it's her time. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I let her have that. And I go downstairs and play craps. <laughs> <laughs> Find me when, you, when you're when you ready. <laughs> Are we going to Vegas? Here? Absolutely not, dude. <laughs> For sure. I lost my neck out there. Oh, uh, recently, right? Yeah, recently. Yeah. Oh. Went out there and lost my neck. What is that? Is that I uh, lost all my money? That's a phrase. I uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just gonna say that's <laughs> that's more I'm proof just, that I'm just, I just literally, <laughs> literally came back with no neck. <laughs> <laughs> In that case, I lost my neck fucking when I turned 21 and started drinking beer. I yeah. started gaining weight. 
<laughs> after fucking two burgers at Carl's Jr. at 2 a.m. Hey, come on, man. <laughs> and I definitely had two burgers from Rally's right before this podcast. Yeah. And now I'm doing... What'd you order? From Rally's? You Fuck, Tell me dude. what you ordered. I don't remember. <laughs> I mean, whatever was new. It was a chicken one and a beef one. I don't fucking know. Big, big Buford. Oh, I never heard someone dude. call a cheeseburger a beef one. Get back in your fucking car, man. Big Buford. I fucking hate Rally's. The only thing good they have is fries. You want some? I still got some on no, the side. No, off no. camera. We could pause this right now. Why pause it? <laughs> nah, I'm munching on these skits. No dude. one on these what? Skits. Sponsored by Skits. Taste the motherfucking rainbow. <laughs> no one wants to hear us chewing. Nope. I'll tell a story. <laughs> Not a story, but um, I'm making a table. Pull oh, this mic closer. I was actually gonna bring it up. Yeah, yeah I'm making a table now. Your a, hands, a little desk. Show shows them mitts real quick. They, I don't know if you could tell, but they got a little bit of paint. That's on a them. man hand right there. Yeah. Your hand is as big as my face, and it's also <laughs> covered in paint. Yeah. Fuck, I mean, now I'm chewing again. <laughs> but you're building... Building a little desk. For yourself? Yeah. <clears throat> it's for my cousin's kid. My first cousin once removed. <laughs> That's not a thing. That's how it works. That's not a thing. Yeah. Once removed is generational. Sure. I'll show you the... I'll, show you the <laughs> I'll break it down for you after this after this cast. <laughs> um. Yeah, apparently desks are hard to come by now because all the kids are in school. Mm-hmm. And um, I'm sorry, podcast world, but I'm chewing. <laughs> um, yeah, all the desks are sold out and whatever. So she was over recently and I, uh, she mentioned that she was trying to get a desk. And I was like, oh, I'll fashion you up one. So I'm, I've been making a desk this whole weekend. It's coming out nice. Dude, I, I've been, I feel like that's just the new... We always talk about where we can't talk about Corona. It's very hard. Yeah. But everyone's starting school right now. Yeah. yeah. And I've seen videos. It's like, oh, first day at school. And it's the saddest thing ever, man. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, because it's like, obviously, you got to play it safe mm-hmm. right now. You don't want to risk anything. But it's like a big part of school is like being in the environment. That's like arguably only the good part. The best yeah, part yeah. about it is like you're there with, you do it with your friends. Exactly. You go to school, you make friends. Imagine and if you had to do high school, just by yourself in a, in your own house, in a, your bedroom who, day in and day out. It's terrible. Who do you go to prom with? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Jill. <laughs> or Pom- Who's that? Who's that? Jill. <laughs> Wait, what was the other one? Palm uh, what? Pamela Henderson. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. You remember that one? I've heard of that one. Throwback. Oh yeah, it's weird, man. But would you would you prefer let if you had a kid right now in the middle of a pandemic? Yeah. Would you rather would you be like, nah man, they should be in school right now? Like or like are you gonna be okay with them being at home? I mean if I had the choice, yeah. Yeah, I would definitely send them to school. Really? Despite- are, you, are you saying in the in the midst of a pandemic? Yes. Oh no, no, no. I mean, okay. safety of your child should be the first priority. But isn't isn't like let's say even just within LA, aren't there both sides? There's people doing it from home, and there's people that are actually going in. I don't know of any schools that are going in. I I mean, I have a couple of friends that work at daycares, and I know there's kids in there. Oh, okay. And I see that, I'm like, what the hell? Oh, okay. Well, eh. I don't know, man. I mean, if you, I understand the flip side of it. You know, you if you're working, you you got a job, and you can't. You know, that you have to go in. Yeah, yeah. Let's say you're a paramedic or something. Who's mm-hmm. going to watch your kids? Mm-hmm. There needs to be there needs to be something. But, uh, yeah, no, if I had the choice. Yeah. I mean, I guess in the midst of a pandemic, uh, they would stay home. Otherwise, get their ass to school <laughs> so they could learn how to socialize and be good human beings, unlike their father. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I don't have kids. <laughs> yeah, that's the reason. It has nothing else to do with my personality or... <laughs> Oh, man. Crazy times. Do you got anything else? No, I think I covered everything that you I covered got. everything just because yeah. we're, we're getting close to the end. Right. We could do it right now. It's up to you. No, we, we, we got a little bit of time. Nope. We got a little bit of time. We got a little bit of time. I was going to say, uh, I don't know if you want to have anything else you wanted to cover. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That does it for my notes, man. Unless you yeah. got something, you could bring us home with something nice. Look, man. I've said it all the time. Yeah. You're the only one that does any prep here. Yeah. What do I do? I fucking hit, I hit the fucking, <laughs> I hit that button. Yeah. That's it. You're so smooth. And, with it, and every now and then I'll hit a. <laughs> oh, that uh, beat bangs. <laughs> dude, I think we've gotten more comments on that song. Yeah. 
and how that's the best thing. And we've only done it what once, twice. Yeah, I think we did two this foos. Two this foos. We're doing it next week for sure. Yeah, if people want it back, comment down below. Tell us that you want to bring us. The da, 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 da. I'm sorry. Do you want to run that back yeah. real quick? Comment down below. <laughs> Let us know if you want us to bring back this foo. Are we hidden right there? This way, the button. No, nah, there's there's nothing I could link to that. God. I'll just cut this part out. Don't nah, worry. It's a comment down below. Well, <laughs> <laughs> so, Fabian, what do you think? Should we just run it home? Yeah, just run early. It home. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah, give people that's a shorter good. episode. They got shit to do, you know. Well, look, man, Skittles actually paid us for the full hour, so the next nine minutes <laughs> will be <laughs> will be chewing Skittles. <laughs> Taste, Taste the, the motherfucking, motherfucking rainbow. rainbow. <laughs> oh man, let's take it home. Let's bring it home. So, as usual, um, we already ran it up at the top, but write us a review on Apple Podcast app. You write it. You write it. Yeah. Because you can give us the five stars. Type the words in there. Give us the five stars. That helps. But what helps the most is the written review. Write us something nice. Tell us something good. Get us back on the Mexican charts because that's what we've been aiming for. Yeah. Um, and if you've already done that, uh, tell your friends. Tell us. If, tell them to follow us at You're Not Down Pod. Yeah. Spell your right. Don't be a dumb dumb. Don't be a dumb dumb. Do that on Instagram and Twitter. And if you guys want to yeah. send us an email, do it at y n d p o d at gmail dot com. Tag your friends in our shit, dude. Tag your friends in our shit. That's the only way they're gonna hear about it. Yeah. And if you guys want to hear anything, because look, um, just a quick shout out to Kelly Blackheart. Yeah. Last week. Shout out to Kelly Blackheart. What a great episode. Uh, that was probably one of my favorites. Yeah. Um. It was super fun. Shout out to Savicha the Shark as yeah, well. Yeah, big shout out. No, nah, we we want to we wanna have more people on in the future. Obviously, we're trying to be safe. We're trying to like take all the precautions necessary. But uh, until then, if we don't have a guest, tell us what you guys want us to talk about. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, tell That's us, much appreciated. Tell us what you want to hear because if not, Mike's just going to keep writing whatever the hell. Yeah, talk about red lights. You guys want to hear that week after week? <laughs> we'll do it. So. We'll No? <laughs> Well, I don't, I don't think they do. So they better <laughs> write us in. Write us in. And um, do you got anything else to add? I was going to do it. I'm going to hit it with you the words of wisdom. That's right. Words of wisdom for this week is don't let small minds convince you that your dreams are too big. Guys, don't listen to those small-minded people out there. They're a bunch of dumb dumbs Can't even spell you're right. Guys, dream big. <laughs> do it big. We love you here at YMD Pod. Mm-hmm. And uh, as always, rock on, baby. Have a delicious weekend. Delicious. Tasty, scrumptious. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, nutritious, maybe. And of course, taste the, the motherfucking, motherfucking rainbow. rainbow. <laughs>